So the Fae Beta event is still a few weeks ahead of the rest of us. So if you started the event but you don't know where it's going to be going, this uh, this video should help. If you're on Android, there are deals available in the Amazon App Store with massive discounts. The more you spend, the more you save. Do please check out the links in the description. That will take you to those deals. So this is the uh, stage five now. You can see season loot event. There's also a gold event, a replacement of the gold event inside of the realm. So let's check this out and see what it looks like. So the Season Loot 1 event, so they're calling it the Gold Event, Season Loot begins and uh, they're saying here that the safe zone in Season Loots, the safe zones are deactivated, so attackers will come. So in the last loot stage, the safe zones of the Season Castles will be deactivated, so as you work your way through the map, each castle has a safe zone around it. Those will disappear during, the, uh, during this Killing Troops stage and Looting Mine stage. So here it is at the top, Gold Event Season Loot, it's got its own logo. And now these rewards, I say this is for Solar, so they do differ substantially from Luna typically. So they're still giving away uh, these Dragon Flame Orbs and it's actually quite hard to max out. The prizes on Solar I find are harder than on Luna for getting these top prizes. So day one of the Gold Event, it is Construction and Research. So if we click on the I button here, the exclamation point, sorry, then we're going to get uh, so in this case, it's going to be five points for each power upgrade that you do uh, for research and for building upgrades as well. So these levels here, they will they do vary based on your stronghold level. So you may find they're different. So uh, this is what, 2 million, 4 million, 12 million to get to that top prize. And if we check out, uh, so not ranked, overall rankings. So the stage rank rewards, again, these will differ, but for early solar accounts, this is what this is, quite an early game solar account. Uh, these are prizes, the uh, Dragon Flame Orbs are really hard to come by, so those are the, uh, the big ticket ones, and the rest is all very helpful for getting your dragon up principally. Also some uh, gold summoning horns. So that is day one of the construction research stage. There's also an overall ranking here, so um, you'll uh, get individual rank rewards for the whole event. So 20,000 gold, 180 uh, Dragon Flame Orbs for the number one player. So yep, that's definitely handy uh, if we keep scrolling down. So again, just keep in mind that this is a variation on that. Uh, on the version, this might be different to the, your version of the game. Now the border hospital, so sorry, open that a bit quickly, so go to the border hospital here then you can see they're saying the border hospital has no capacity limit the kill stage hasn't started but in the loot stages wounded troops will be sent to the border hospital you can spend resources to heal them the wounded troops in the border hospital will be healed automatically when the loot stage ends so what they're saying is there is no hospital cap but they keep saying it wounded troops so only troops that will be treated as wounded will go to this hospital so Following the standard rules, if you're attacking somebody else's city, wounded conversion will apply. You're going to have permanent losses going to uh, going into your, I guess it will then go to your season loss hospital. So if we check that out now, so here's your season hospital. So your wounded troops won't go here, but presumably your lost troops will go here. 20% of them will perish permanently, and presumably the other 80% will go into this hospital. I say the event hasn't started for the kill stage yet, so I do need to check with one of my viewers and let you know. Okay, so that is stage one. It's construction and research. And uh, stage two, this is a troop training stage. So it will begin, uh, so this is a three, looks like it's gonna be a three day event. So it ends in 13 hours. And this one begins in 13 hours for troop training. So here are the list of scores that you can achieve. So uh, 180 points for every level 13 troop. Obviously, Luna version of the game, we've got 14 uh, T14s as well. So there will be more points for that. And the points, again, they might vary. And again, similar types of prizes. And there'll also be a ranking for, for this. So similar types of, uh, of prizes for that. Okay, so here are the prizes, and uh, yeah, so we've got the border hospital here. Interesting, it says into map. I'm already on the map, so far as I understand it, so I guess that will just take me to where I am. Yep, cool. So uh, that's taking me into the uh, into the world map. 
overall ranking and then we've got the uh, final stage this is the one that's definitely going to interest people this is a gold event season loot gold event kill uh, earn points by killing enemy troops or looting mines so looting mines is so important i'm hearing from the guys who are playing it currently that once that opens up you definitely want to be doing that looting and this only counts, by the way, on the season map. So if you go back to your home uh, home kingdom, you won't get any points in this event. So you do need to be on the season map for, actually, I'm guessing for all of these things, I've, I'm fairly sure, just to, be, <laughs> just to be safe, make sure you're doing all your upgrades, troop training, do them all on the season map. It doesn't specifically say that, but <laughs> you don't want to mess that one up. I've had that happen to me before in one of the pre previous season maps. All right, so killing troops, what have we got? So there's a 13,050 gold prize. There are more of these gold summoning horns. Though, again, the numbers aren't loading correctly on my screen for some reason. Yeah, so they're not loading correctly on the bottom ones. But uh, yep, So get a shield and yep, some training speed ups, some uh, march speed ups. And uh, yeah, so actually top prize here. 1,350 gold, not awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that's not great. The extra horns, this will make a difference. They're harder to come by, but given you've got uh, got these dragon flame orbs for the other events, I thought they would be giving dragon flame orbs as well. But again, say prizes will vary on different versions of the game. And yeah, so the raid stage begins one day 13. So yes, it will begin on the third day. Currently it doesn't say how long the raid stage will last, but the entire event is a three day event. So yes, it's a one day kill event. Interesting, today when I'm filming it's a Tuesday, so that means this kill event will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is quite unusual for a kill event, but this is the beta, so it's quite possible they won't follow the same timings for everyone else, given we're way over a week behind the other beta players right now. Okay, so that was the gold event. Should we have a look at the map, see how it's progressing? So uh, yeah, if we look through, we can see all different kingdoms and yeah, they've been about you can see how they've been abandoning castles so they're not holding all the different castles uh, 10 kingdoms each each kingdom can only hold six castles I think that I was being told so uh, at some point you can have to start giving up your lower level castles and swapping them out for these higher higher level castles they are now making their move towards Grey Rock Fortress and we see these higher level uh, mines are now here. So this is one of the stone flower mines, level 11. And Grey Rock Fortress, you can see it is now glowing. So uh, is there anything in here that we've uh, not seen on the previous efforts? All right, so you're going to get 30 command points. You're going to increase your uh, production of stone flowers by 500 per hour. Fancy gems by 500 per hour. And this will also give a uh, benefit to uh, troop attack, troop defense, and troop health. That's going to be 20% in the solar version of the game. Now, what I'm hearing, in fact, is that these swords are the true currency of this game. So they are the hardest thing to come by. So uh, you definitely want to make sure that you're gathering all of these uh, all these points as best as possible. So the Alliance Logistics points, just get loads of farm accounts hitting, uh, hitting their dailies. So what's interesting here is they've actually exceeded the limit. They've got more points than is allowable. So you can acquire up to a million points a day at this stage in the event by completing daily quests and they get 200 per minute anyway. So interesting that they can't spend those. Okay, maybe I can't spend them because I'm playing as a non-armed four on this, uh, on this account. So that looks quite cool. The, uh, fortress and it's just on the edge here of the, uh, the when the land goes red which we weren't able to see let's zoom out let's do a wider view of this map so yeah this is pushing us up to the uh you know this slightly mars looking uh, effect i do like it when they spend a bit more time on the uh oh meteorite chests uh star of another world fell from the sky and its fragments became magical chests underground so uh, no power required, time costs so three minutes, no competitor available. So you can open three, you can open three of these chests a day, 
and uh, it disappears in 11 minutes 53. You can share the uh, chords for that, so let's have a look. Meteorite chests at different levels meet the power requirements to open them. After troops find a chest, it will take three minutes to open it. During this time, you have to fight any other players who have also found that chest. So troops will not be wounded or slain in the fight. The peace shield will not be broken by the fight for a meteorite chest. So chest, dressed, chest. Easy for me to say. So anyone can go after these chests. I don't know how rare they are, in fact. So, so there I was chatting to Hass, asking if he didn't mind me taking one of his three attempts. You can see there's only three attempts available when getting one of these meteorite chests and uh, by the time you managed to get back to me this one had disappeared so I thought just find another one. <laughs> Easier said than done. I spent like 20 minutes trying to find another one to show you guys what it's like when you open it. <sighs> I could not find one so yeah he tells me they're really really rare so if you do come across these and uh, you're not sure whether you should open them or not open them. They are very hard to come by and hey try out the rewards you're definitely going to get a few materials and i'm just really frustrated with myself i didn't click on the chest to see what's in the chest itself but you have to assume it's going to be worth uh, worthwhile given it's uh, a very rare thing so do please make sure that next time you see one of these chests in the fey realm click on it so if you've not actually started the fey realm event yet then there's a whole playlist just for the screen sh uh, showing the screenshots i've done a whole tour of every single screen i could come across every menu every rule so if you want to check that out here is the playlist here it's going to give you a lot of answers for this event when it comes to your kingdom i'm english tim thanks for watching today